Alan, uh, Gareth Griffiths here. What was your assessment of that? You, you were pleased with that first start performance and how you sort of blew them away in that time? Uh, yeah, well, I think um, I think it, the question is quite right and we split the two halves. I think, um, you know, we were more clinical in that first half than we were the second. Obviously, the changes came on and um, we were, uh, you know, probably frustrated in the second half at times. Um, but, you know, we were, we're still in the ascendancy, really, on the, on the scoreboard. There's bits, bits to work on, um, collision-wise. Um, you know, we've, it was a bit hotter than I thought we expected, but, um, you know, we were able to, to get past the post. And you look at, look at next week now. Um, what's, what's the difference in that final week? You know, you've, you've been through this before. How would you prepare, you know, going ahead, going to Paris to try and win a Grand Slam? Well, it's just, just that. It's an away game. It's a, um, you know, an away decider. But I was very... Um, clear in the, the fact that we'll deal with that on, on Tuesday when we get in we've got a couple of days off obviously because we, we're away so I made a point to the boys to make sure they get you know switch off time and spend time with the families and then we'll go into next week I'm sure there'll be uh, bits to pick up on as there always is um, from Steve and and Gethin um, and so we'll get into it then. What are the key areas that find you, makes you find yourself in this position four from four going um, going for that title? Oh, the key areas to this point, or that we need to improve on. Sorry. Key areas that's got you to this point. Um, <clears throat> I think um, you know a lot was said about our uh, inefficiencies at set piece time in, in in the autumn. You know, I'll, I'll compare the, the Nations Cup in the autumn because that's the you know the last group of games we had. Obviously, um, I think we've got more clarity in our defence, um, and we've been ultimately more clinical. I think. Um, we have uh, been able to create pressure, and whether it's been uh, forcing um, you know, penalties or um, you know, other pre pressure to, to give us opportunities, I think that's increased. Um, but bringing it back to today, there was still a couple of dis disallowed uh, tries and probably a bit of territory that gave up by you know, releasing the ball or, or knocking it off. Previous Six Nations deciders or Grand Slams have been at home. This one's away. Does that make any difference in terms of uh, how you try and achieve that goal? Yeah, um, we're not going to shy away from that. We know um, the significance the away games um, have uh, in this competition, and you know it's uh, it's 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 one that we um, haven't experienced before, and it's uh, you know it's going to be another week of weeks um, leading up to that, that away game on um, on Saturday. And how many levels will you have to go up from today's performance to to face France in Paris? Oh, a good few. Thank you. Good luck next week. Thank you. Hi Alan, it's Alex here. Um, the last time you went to Paris, I, you know, in the Autumn Nations Cup, obviously it was a, a different result uh, and maybe a team that was in a different place. Can you just give us an idea of how much the team has improved since then, both in terms of results and confidence? Um, well, in, in many ways, it's a very similar situation. Obviously, no fans away in France and, you know, it was a, a, a clinical uh, game by them. Um, but... You know that was the start of a competition in a in a different situation. Uh, with a you know, I don't, don't mean to be over the top of the world. It changed. Are we going into a competition that we weren't going to experience before? I think you know we're a bit further down the line with no crowds and um, where we are with the game and all the stuff that's going on around it to make it happen. Um, and I think we've dealt with that. Um, as uh, off the back of Gareth's question, we still have to go up definitely a few gears to go there and perform. Um, they're arguably the, the informed team in this competition for. I have been the informed team in this competition for the last two years and I'm sure they're, they're not going to stop that next week. Just lastly for me, what will be the key messages that you'll be driving this week as captain of the team? Well, I think the main one, like I've already said, is enjoy the time with family uh, tomorrow, Monday, and then be ready to work on Tuesday. Thanks for your time. Oh, just a, a quick one from, from myself. Um, obviously, with the Grand Slam on the line this, this week, it'll be a little bit different. Do you welcome that pressure and, and almost invite it or do you block it out and try and treat it as just another game this week? Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know if it gets uh, more easier or, or more difficult the, the, <laughs> the more opportunities you have to, to do things like this. I think the biggest thing for me is, um, you know, a realisation we've got a lot of players that are in this squad that have been in these weeks before. Um, we've got a lot of players that have played a lot of um, Prem rugby, a lot of competitive rugby domestic level as well, if they've not experienced here. Um, so I, it, it's funny, you don't want to be over the top of the messaging and, you know, speak too much because obviously it takes away and it, it builds the, the fatigue levels. Um, 
uh, ultimately we're going to rely on um, you know not not past experience not um, what we've done in the past we rely on the fact it's another challenge and an opportunity to to play for Wales in a, in a special week cheers up Brilliant, guys. We'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Like I said, Ken will be on the phone to one of the writers and we'll share that, those quotes as well. Thank you.